What do I get from Piccolo? You know, the big green guy with those antennas. Well, first, let's see how he fits in in Dragon Ball. For example, Goku is a country boy, a husband, a father, and also the universe's greatest hope, without trying to be, along with a group of tournament fighters. While Dragon Ball was a retelling of Journey to the West, Z could be seen as Journey into Space. Then a new challenger appears, who we get to know as Vegeta. He becomes Goku's opposite. And that would be delightful if it wasn't for the fact that we already had Piccolo. As the focus was more on Vegeta, Piccolo started to fade away. Which is strange because Piccolo is creator Akira Toriyama's favorite character. Piccolo is of course the leftovers of the mighty King Piccolo. And he wants world domination. He isn't about to achieve it by starting some kind of edgy political party, but finding the best of the best of Earth and defeating him. But when Z kicked off, they called a momentary truce and decided to team up to beat Raditz. It's from there we started to see similarities between the two fighters. I mean, they're both cosmic immigrants. But as Goku can blend in with society, even though this world has anthropomorphic animals and dinosaurs, Piccolo is an instant outcast. He doesn't understand who he is in life, or what to strive to be. While his father's counterpart, Kami, is the guardian of Earth, he's a wonder of it. And despite fighting along the Z fighters, he's not quite on their line. And that's what makes him such a good fighter, honorable enough to not kick someone when they're down, but smart enough to not give them an overlong breather. It's not about his duality, it's about him recognizing his opponent's duality. His fighting style could be considered kind of monstrous. The way he can stretch and grow back his limbs, but he's not beast-like, he's clearly intelligent and has patience. It's stuff like this that makes him such a badass, than just whatever his current power level is. But what really makes him badass is, he doesn't fight to win. He acts as starters before the main fight with Goku happens. He probably knows he can't win against foes like Nappa, Freezer, or Cell. But for him it wasn't about winning, it was about fighting until his last breath know he did everything he possibly could do. It's this that makes him a hero more than just an anti-hero. Oh yes, and he can do special beam cannon. 